Hello everybody, welcome back to Exploring Temecula. Today we're going to talk about a few things that you can do to avoid uh, higher taxes on homes in Temecula. I know some of them are going to be pretty obvious, especially if you're living in Southern California and understand, you know, sort of how housing taxes work. But for those people that are out of state or, you know, haven't really been in the real estate game, uh, you know, I wanted to go over some things that might help or you might want to think about when purchasing a home in Temecula. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Uh, you know, many of you know that we do two or three videos a week on Temecula and the surrounding area. We now, in every one of our videos, have a home search in the description of the video. We also have a free home value video. So uh, if you don't know, we are not only licensed as a brokerage, but a uh, real estate appraisal company. So if you are interested in finding out what your home value is and what's really going on in the market, uh, you can click on that as well in the description. Regardless of what you are looking for, if you have any interest in Temecula, this is the channel that you need to subscribe to. Uh, so thank you very much and let's get into the video. Okay guys, so first thing I wanted to talk about for those people that do not live in Southern California or again are just not familiar with the tax rates in these counties, whether you're in Orange County, Riverside County, San Diego County or Los Angeles County, your tax rate is going to be around that 1.1 to 1.2% base tax rate. It's going to go up from there depending on which community you choose. So my rule of thumb for every single one of my buyers is please don't buy a home off what the lender approves you for. Buy a home on what you feel comfortable in regards to what the payment is per month. Two huge and totally different things. Uh, if a lender approves you for 500000 uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be comfortable with a $500,000 house payment. So you know, what you need to do is make sure before you put offers in, before uh, you know, you're in escrow, you understand what payment you actually want to have per, mo per month and, and really just work backwards from there. So if this is my payment, this is the home price. And if this is the home price, it can't have taxes or a Melarus or special assessments higher than this. Uh, and it can't have an HOA higher than this. And then you'll really be able to narrow down what communities are gonna work for you in regards to what you feel comfortable paying every month. And I could say, you know, that is one of the most important things um, you know, as a home buyer, you can. Okay guys, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this, but I just wanted to really quickly go over special assessments, Melarus, what is it? Basically, when a home builder comes in and let's say they wanna build a home tract in Temecula, they're gonna need roads, they're gonna need schools, they're gonna need lights, they're gonna need sidewalks. All of this costs money, and they are basically passing that cost onto the homeowner over a certain amount of years. Uh, if you want more information on uh, special assessments in Melrose, just Google it. I mean, there's tons of information online and they could probably go in depth, you know, even more than I am going to on this video. Okay, so one of the more obvious ways to pay less tax, um, you know, and, not, and stay away from the special assessments in Melrose is to buy an older home. Uh, usually when you buy a home before or built before the year 2000, you're definitely going to pay less in special assessments, Melarus. And if you're going back, you know, before 1990, 1995, most of the communities are going to have no special assessments or next to nothing. Uh, now, just for people that are from out of state, in my opinion, there are some absolutely beautiful communities that are older communities, not only in Temecula, but throughout Southern California, but there are also ones that I don't personally like. Uh, I don't like the orange roofs. The orange tile roofs just does not do it for me. Um, you know, a lot of times with these older communities, um, you're gonna have the floor plan is not gonna be open like the newer builds will. Now, on the plus side, one of the things that I love in Southern California with the older communities is just the mature landscape of the community. You know, the massive trees in the front yard that line the streets, uh, generally speaking, the lot sizes are going to be bigger on uh, older home builds. 
You know, 30 years ago, builders weren't trying to, you know, hammer a hundred homes down, you know, in the smallest land size possible. Now, you know, you go to any of generally any of these new home builds and you're getting lot sizes three, four, five, six thousand like at the most. So, um, you know, there are pros and cons to the older homes versus the newer homes. Uh, but, you know, obviously curb appeal, open floor plans are going to be more prevalent uh, in the newer homes. So that's something that you just have to research and, uh, you know, figure out for yourself. But, uh, you know, you're going to pay anywhere from 0 0.4, 0 0.5, all the way up to 1% less in property tax on the older homes. Okay guys, so next up I wanted to talk about Proposition 13 and how this helps homeowners in California. Uh, you know, California is hills and valleys when it comes to home prices. And what Proposition 13 does is it limits what you can assess the property at. You know, I think it's a 2%. Um, and then also what the homeowner actually pays in taxes to 1%, uh, you know, raised per year. Why is this important? Uh, because, you know, 2010, you buy this home and you are able to afford this home and then 10 years later it's three or four times uh, what it was worth in 2010. This does not happen in many other parts of the country. You buy a home at 200 and now it's at six or seven hundred thousand. A lot of people that um, you know bought these homes 10 years ago um, are just not able to pay or wouldn't be able to pay the, this ta these taxes so it really helps or it really protects the homeowner and hopefully uh, proposition thir th proposition 13 sticks around you know you always hear um, you know obviously the government wants to get rid of it because they need more tax dollars but let's just hope in the next or in the near future, Proposition 13 sticks around. So obviously that is a benefit, um, you know, to homeowners in California. Okay, so next up, I wanted to talk real quick about Proposition 60 and, and 90. Uh, basically what these are, it allows somebody who is 55 and older to purchase a home and transfer what they're paying in taxes from this home to the next home. And Proposition 90 allows you, uh, from what I read, and I'm gonna put a link in the description where you can read these yourself, it allows you to even move from county to county. So, you know, a lot of people when they retire, you know, they wanna move their Orange County home, it's a million dollars, they wanna move inland or to the Inland Empire where they can buy a nice home, um, you know, for half the price or one third the price. And this just allows them to take what they're paying in tax uh, on that one home and transfer it over to the next. Uh, this is especially important for the people, you know, let's just say 30 years ago, you bought a home at $100,000. Uh, now you can sell your home at a million, move to the Inland Empire, buy a home at 400, but still keep that tax rate or what you were paying on, uh, you know, home on your taxes on your home, um, you know, at that 100,000 or 120, whatever the rate may be. Okay, so next up, keep an eye on the assessed value uh, that the city or county think your home is actually worth. We get calls um, all the time as an appraisal company, you know, from homeowners saying, my house is not worth this much, but I'm paying taxes on this much. So we'll do an appraisal for somebody that thinks their assessed value is too much. Now, the only thing I can say is be careful uh, what you wish for, for uh, be pretty confident or sure that your home is worth less than what it's assessed at. Uh, it's probably not gonna be a great thing if you get your home assessed or your home valued and it's actually more than what you thought. So, so there you have it guys, a few ways to avoid paying the higher tax rates on homes in Temecula, things to look out for, and some explanation on you know some propositions uh, that will help you as a Southern Cal or California homeowner in the future. Uh, please reach out if you have any further questions. Uh, if you'd like a home value, we're here. That's in the description as well. Make sure you subscribe. And until next time, Exploring Temecula.